hey, I've got a chapter for you to read on the ENFJ and the INFJ in my new book from ENFJ with Love. Check it out. It's on Amazon. Link in the description box. Have you ever met someone who just gets you on a whole other level? Do you ever wonder why ENFJs and INFJs seem to have an instant connection? Are you curious about the strong affinity between ENFJs and INFJs? Let's dive in and explore why their connection feels almost magical and why ENFJs and INFJs are often drawn to each other like magnets. INFJs and ENFJs, eh? That's like a match made in personality type heaven, in my opinion. And I'm gonna give you a few humorous and relatable reasons why INFJs might find ENFJs so appealing. For number one, Empathy Squad. INFJs and ENFJs are like the dynamic duo of empathy. They both have this uncanny ability to understand and feel what others are going through. It's like having a built-in emotional support system on speed dial. Wouldn't you love that? Number two, ENFJ, the extroverted social butterfly. INFJs, with their introverted nature, often find themselves in awe of ENFJs and their social prowess. ENFJs can charm a room full of strangers without breaking a sweat. It's like they have a secret superpower called making friends instantly. INFJs might secretly envy that skill while also being incredibly drawn to it. Three. INFJ, the master of depth. INFJs are known for their introspection and insights. They have a knack for diving deep into the mysteries of life and exploring the profound. ENFJs, on the other hand, tend to focus more on the external world and social connections. It's like they balance each other out with the INFJ bringing the deep thoughts and the ENFJ bringing the lively social interactions. Yin and yang, my friends. Four, love, light, and a little chaos. INFJs may appreciate the ENFJ's ability to bring a little chaos and excitement into their lives. INFJs, with their love for peace and harmony, can sometimes get stuck in their own tranquil bubble. ENFJs have this knack for injecting spontaneity and a little adventure, shaking up that INFJ's routine and reminding them to embrace the unexpected. Life with them is like a roller coaster ride with lots of twists and turns, but always filled with love and laughter. Five, making a difference together. Both INFJs and ENFJs have this burning desire to make a positive impact on the world. They share a vision of making it a better place, one kind act at a time. They're like a power couple fighting for justice and spreading love wherever they go. It's like having a partner in crime who understands your, your deepest passions and will always have your back in the quest for a better world. So hey, if you're an INFJ eyeing an ENFJ or vice versa, there's a good chance that your infectious energy and genuine warmth will make it hard to resist each other. So go ahead and explore the magic of this potential match. And I just think INFJs and ENFJs have sort of this magical connection anyway. They feel understood and wowed by each other. They can help each other with their problems in a way that other people might find daunting. They can help each other to go deeper or to make connections and figure out, okay, what the heck is going on? Ah, I see something. I see a problem. Like if you can correct this in your psyche or your subconscious is trying to tell you this this and this and i know personally i'm an enfj and i've got infj friends and one of my infj's friends in particular it's like her intuitive intuition always fascinates me and wows me and i think there's nothing else she can teach me she's taught me all of it 
And then every time I talk to her, she's uncovering new mysteries or ways of looking at the psyche or ways to feel better. And she just, ta- her language is very deep and introspective. And I love that. I feel like there are very few people who can challenge me on the level that she she does. And she actually kind of has some extroverted energy in there too, which makes it very delightful and fun to be around. So this is a definite, for me, it's an undeniable connection. One thing about INFJs though, is that I think a lot of people are very attracted to INFJs. ENFJs and INFJs have the potential to create a deeply meaningful and supportive connection when it comes to helping each other with their problems. Both personality types are known for their empathy, intuition, and genuine concern for others, which can foster a strong sense of understanding and trust between them. That's really, really nice. ENFJs with their natural ability to tune into other people's emotions and needs can provide a safe and comforting space for INFJs to open up about their problems. They excel at offering emotional support, providing guidance, and offering practical solutions to help INFJs navigate through their challenges. On the other hand, INFJs possess a profound understanding of human nature and an innate desire to help others find their purpose and navigate complex situations. They have a knack for seeing beneath the surface and can often provide ENFJs with valuable insights and perspectives that can help them make more informed decisions. The depth of their support for each other often stems from their shared values, deep empathy, and ability to connect on an emotional level. ENFJs and INFJs can engage in deep, deep conversations, explore the root causes of their problems, and work together to find meaningful solutions. Their mutual commitment to personal growth and self-improvement further strengthens their ability to help each other on a profound level. So the ENFJ, INFJ dynamic can lead to really deep levels of support and understanding. They have the potential to create a powerful synergy when it comes to helping each other with their problems, facilitating personal growth, and providing a strong sense of emotional support. Isn't that so freaking cool? And definitely check out all three of my books, my MBTI book, a chapter for every personality type, and flip the script on love for romantic enlightenment, and the workplace narcissist. If you're dealing with difficult people, the links will be in the description box. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel because it's hard to find, and I'll see you lovely people on the next video. Bye.